going to see a recruitment news from NESGS. So we are going to see all details regarding this recruitment. Okay, so NESGS is actually National Education Society for Tribal Students. Okay, and there is a lot of openings, a lot of categories for which the recruitment is happening. So we are going to see all details regarding this recruitment. Okay, so NESGS is National Education Society for Tribal Students, and they are recruiting for the post of actually they are recruiting for various categories. The categories I'll tell you first. Categories for which the recruitment is happening. Okay, so the categories and the vacancies let us see first. Assistant Commissioner Administrative, Assistant Commissioner of Finance. Then Office Superintendent, Stenographer Grade 1, grade, uh, Stenographer Grade 2, Office Assistant, Multitasking Staff. Okay, and these categories are asking for various level of qualifications. We'll see all those things in detail. Okay. Now, if you see the pay level or pay scale, the highest pay level is from 47,600 to 151,100. And it is for uh, assistant commissioner. It is a uh, higher post. Okay, so it is having maximum salary. And the upper age limit, I'll tell you here itself, the upper age limit for assistant commissioner is 40. For both the assistant commissioners, it is 40. Then for office superintendent, it is 35, stenographers it is 30, maximum age limit. Then office assistant is 27, multitasking staff is 30. Okay, so these are the higher age limits. Now, uh, the pay scale and all, you can see in the notification, I have already told you what is the highest pay level. Now, talking about the stenographer's pay level, I'll tell you that, that also. For stenographer grade 1 and grade 2, for stenographer grade 1, it is from 35,400 to uh, 1,12,400. Then for grade 2, it is 25,500 and above. Okay, that is uh, from that scale, it is a pay scale. Next for multitasking staff, it is 18,000 plus allowances. Okay, so these are the pay scales. We have already seen the age limit. Now, here also they have given in uh, specific detail regarding which all categories is having uh, the openings. That is unreserved, how many openings. EWS, OBC, SCST, PWD. So these type of uh, divisions they have given in the beginning itself. Okay. And if you examine that, maximum opening is for unreserved category only. So you don't get any specific benefit if you are belonging to the reserved category here because the maximum opening uh, is actually for the unreserved. Okay. So you have to write the examination as unreserved itself. Okay. Now, the vacancies, uh, I'll tell you, for assistant commissioner, Administration 2 vacancy, Finance 1 vacancy, Office Superintendent uh, 2 vacancy, Stenographer Grade 1, 1 vacancy, Stenographer Grade 2, 2 vacancy, then Office Assistant 4 vacancy, Multitasking Staff 6 vacancy. Okay, you can see the total number of posts also here. Okay, I'll be sharing that uh, on the screen. You can see now it on the screen also. Okay. So that's all regarding the post details, age limit, salary and the vacancy. Now, let us see the application fees first itself because some people may find it difficult or it is too much. So let us see the application fees. Okay, the application fees for assistant commissioner, both the categories is 1200 rupees is the uh, application fees. For office superintendent, stenographer grade 1, 2 and office assistants, it is 750 rupees. Okay. Then for multitasking staff, the fees is 100 rupees only. Okay. So that is the application fees. Now, let us see the qualification criteria for applying for the various categories. For assistant commissioner, qualification is graduation in uh, graduation degree from a recognized university that can be in any discipline. And also, you require six years of experience uh, in the same. Okay, so that is the uh, qualification requirement. Also, same is for Assistant Commissioner of Finance. Next, Office Superintendent, you should be having BCOM with 50% of mark in aggregate and at least four years of experience. Okay, so all these categories are actually asking for experience. Now, let us see the Stenographer Grade 1. For Stenographer Grade 1, Graduation, and also they are asking some uh, typing sp uh, speed and also for grade 1 they are asking experience but for grade 2 they are not asking experience okay so for grade 1 you should require 3 years of working experience but for grade 2 I will read it it is actually for freshers okay 
stenographs are grade 2 the qualification is 12th class pass from a recognized board or university knowledge in computer operations then skill test norms also they have given that is some typing speed okay uh, so here the qualification is 12th 12th and com uh, computer operation knowledge that is only required no experience or anything they are asking okay so if you are a fresher you can apply for stenographer grade 2 okay hindi one and english one one is for hindi category one is for english category next for office assistant again it is a fresher's recruitment so bachelor's degree in any discipline or equivalent that is the qualification for office assistant for multitasking staff you are requiring a matriculation that is 10th class pass okay so that is the uh, qualification requirement for multitasking staff so that is all regarding the uh, the qualification requirement so all the higher end posts are actually asking for experience but the uh, post from stenographer grade 2 then office assistant and multitasking staff they are for freshers okay so if you are interested in applying and if you are a fresher please to have a look on these areas other areas you can skip okay so we have seen the qualification also now talking regarding the selection process actually we'll be doing it as a separate video because in this notification they have actually given all the details regarding the selection process but if you sum it up i want to tell you that the selection process is consisting of there is a examination written examination which is an objective type examination only then there will be skill test uh, or document verification and also there for some posts they are actually uh, telling as uh, that is they are telling interview also okay so the selection process will be having three stages written examination which is an objective type computer based examination or an OMR based exam then interview then skill test okay so this is the selection process stages now what all uh, things you have to prepare what is the syllabus what is the exam pattern all those things we will be uploading as a separate video why because some people won't be really interested in uh, knowing regarding the selection process some people will be uh, actually confused regarding whether to apply or not okay so if you are applying or if you have applied we will be seeing uh, that is you have to see the separate video on the selection process okay so selection process will be uploaded as a separate video so we have seen all details regarding the recruitment now let us see the application procedure so for applying you have to go to the link uh, cdn.digialm.com okay so that is actually the link for uh, applying so i'll be posting that link uh, in description and also you can now it, uh, see it on the screen okay so you have to go to this website and you will be getting uh, instructions and everything so directly you can see the instructions and you can apply online so the application procedure is online only and the last date for registration or online application is 4th uh, february okay 4th february is the last date for applying so there is actually enough time but uh, please do apply for it as soon as possible okay so uh, we have seen all details regarding the recruitment uh, from NESTS okay so if you are interested uh, in this job or in this recruitment if you are interested in applying for any of the post please see the notification in detail and apply for it as soon as possible the date of examination everything they have not actually mentioned only the last date for application is given okay so please see the notification and apply for it as soon as possible so if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up also share it with your friends and if you want a video on uh, the selection process please do mention that in comment section also okay so I'll be uh, seeing the comments and based on which only I'll be making the selection process video. Okay. So we'll be seeing all details regarding the selection process, the uh, marking scheme, the scheme, the, uh, the syllabus, the exam cities, everything we'll be seeing in that video. Okay. So if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.